Good morning. It's March the 2nd, 2017. Time to kick off another trading day. Hypothetical or simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under overcompensated for the impact, if any, of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they're designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Good morning. Second time's always better, right? Um, biggest news today will be uh, focused on the direction of the ES and the Dow. I'm guessing we have a pause day. Article out on Bloomberg that the rally was not caused by Trump's speech. Uh, it was caused by short covering. And we had a very, very big rally. The Dow was up 262 points uh, yesterday. <clears throat> so a pause day is what you expect after a trend day. If that is the case, then I would imagine that Treasuries will find a bottom early in the session and move sideways too, but it's going to be dependent upon what the E-mini does. Inspect a little selling in the E-mini off of the opening, which will be supportive for Treasuries, and then uh, a sideways move. So I do believe we have one short left in the market. The uh, news overnight was pretty limited. Uh, Swiss GDP and retail sales were down. That was probably the worst news out of Europe. Unemployment was uh, better in Spain and Italy. Uh, inflation was up for the EU, PPI and CPI. And unemployment was basically unchanged for the EU. So the news was generally positive from an economic growth standpoint. And inflation was higher for the ECB, which is what they wanted. Today we have jobless claims, 245K. No one will pay much attention to it. And natural gas. Drawdowns at minus 5 BCF. Pretty mild week last week. Uh, so here we find ourselves with resistance at 20 to 24. I uh, would like to sell the uh, 23 to 27 area. I don't think we may have a hard time getting up there. So we're going to make it 20, 24, sell 1. 27, 31, sell 2. And buy side, I think we're going to head a little lower. So we'll try for 9s to 13s. Put a question mark at 16. And then 1 to 5. <clears throat> Treasuries are being sold. We've gone over three days from a 30% 36% probability that the Fed would raise interest rates in March to an 86% probability as we open this morning. Now, that doesn't mean the Fed's going to raise rates, but that's the way the money's aligning. They were wrong on Trump's speech with no specifics uh, causing the market to sell off. <clears throat> Maybe they'll be wrong about that. But that's where the money's lined up right now. Okay, resistance starts at uh, 12 to 16, number one. So sell 19s to 23, sell 1. 27s to 31, sell 2. On the support side, the buck to 04 is number one. By 25 to 29, by 1. And 13 to 17, by 2. The market is pointed lower. Gold was off overnight. <clears throat> and now we had a 50 to 52 sell. That was there in Globex briefly. The only way you would have gotten in was uh, on a rusting limit sell at 50. Um, selling started in Asia. See that split increased in London, and London is the market. So we're going to find ourselves looking to test the 35 to 37 area. So buy ones, 35, 37. Again, dependent upon what the E-mini is going to do. 
may take a 40 to get in and then 30 to 32 so we're trying to buy 30 even to 35s and on the uh, sell side uh, 43 45 sell one and 48 to 50 for sell two the mini actually sells pretty hard which would be difficult to do without news gold and treasuries can snap back but I don't I don't think that's going to happen Trump's speech uh, the Democrats have been co-opted on everything maternal leave uh, trillion dollar infrastructure uh, Trump is really going very very hard to uh, realign um, the political base of the Republican Party and the Democrats really don't have much of an answer right now uh, no one has said how this is going to be paid for don't have to pay for it just print money right so that, that, those are going to be the biggest issues is how do you pay for this but you can just see that um, those that feed from the trough were, trough were pretty happy about uh, Trump's speech and the Democrats were pretty unhappy about it Okay, looking at the euro, trying to head lower. We've got stops below basically 105. So we'll make 105, 105, 10 by 1. 104.75 by 2. On the uh, sell side, um, I'm going to move out of the middle at 35. We're at 22 right now, so we'll make 30 to 40, sell 1. And 50 to 60 sell two. Crude oil selling um, much lower, uh, 53.75 held yesterday sold right off the opening so we've got a very very clean break in the market at 53.50 so 53.50 to 75 sell one 54 even 54 and a quarter sell two getting stops beneath that low I think's the play so stops below 53 52 75 53 even buy one might take a 53 and a quarter to get in but I, I think we're headed lower and 52.75, 52 52.50 50 for buy two. E mini. Question of the day, which way is it going to go? My guess is well, you know, after trend day, you've got pause days, and we will play for that. Uh, not afraid to sell into strength, but the trade longer term remains get long and stay long <clears throat> Do we have something to change our minds about it. So the first sell is going to be 94, 96, sell one, and then leaning against yesterday's high, That's this is the better trade, 99s to 01 for sell two. On the buy side, got a lot right in here. This 85 to uh, 89 area support, and we haven't really touched it yet. So, um, let's try for. Got this E low at 88. We've got a D low at 86. So let's try for 86, 88 by one, and then 80, 82 by two. We've had a 20-point pull in, in this rally up um, a lot. A lot of times the uh, correction has been 20 points. So 94, 96, I would want some uh, signs of sellers with me, like get into that area, uh, then see a lower high, uh, leaning against 2,400. I mean, it's just that's where resistance is, and I'm going to be right or wrong. So I don't have any problem with that trade. 
the trade side the side to trade from is still the long side but we may have a couple of quick shorts this morning okay it's going to take a bit to get everything up and posted going to get busy with that back with you as soon as possible <laughs>